This is Grudowski of We Are Changed Org, and we are living in very interesting times. We are seeing the richest people in the world prepare for the apocalypse by building doomsday bunkers all around the world, and Donald Trump is about to face off with the most influential bank in the United States, Goldman Sachs. We're going to talk about this and a lot more in this video, but just moments ago, we had Jim Rogers, a billionaire commodity guru, come out publicly and say, quote, that we're about to have the worst economic problems of of a lifetime and that a lot of people will disappear. Now these are very sensational comments, but it is worth factoring in the important information that most jobs around the world will be automated soon. With the robotics industry thriving, a lot of people around the world will be left out of work. This with the fact that the United States is in $20 trillion of debt that can't be paid off under a fake Ponzi scheme Federal Reserve System that literally types in zeros and has made most U.S. currency virtual and digital and non-existent only based off trust. And while that happens, we have seen desperate moves by countries all around the world, including India, where we were on the ground covering the currency reset, the war on cash that many Western countries are now considering doing themselves, where they literally wiped off the currency that was on the ground with that the people were using in order to leech the people of more tax revenue. So now we are seeing the wealthiest people in America, in Silicon Valley, in New York and beyond, getting ready for the breakdown of civilization. The Dow just hit 20,000 for the first time ever, and you would think the richest of the rich would be celebrating, but no, they're building bunkers in order to prepare for a potential apocalypse. Now, it's important to understand that the market is at a record high, but its activity is at a record low. It's also important to note that elites have been building bunkers and doomsday prepping for a very long time, way before Donald Trump came into office. We have seen George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, Henry Kissinger, the Rockefellers, build their safe homes all around the world, especially in South America, creating their own safe zones. But it is interesting to see Peter Thiel, Donald Trump's confidant, do the same thing and just get citizenship inside of New Zealand and property in that country as well, which we have seen many elites also go to and flock to in order to doomsday prep. Now, as this is happening, we have seen Donald Trump, when he was running to be president of the United States, publicly call out Goldman Sachs and call them corporate chieftains that were pocketing the wealth of the American worker. And we're getting some word from within the Donald Trump administration that they are concerned that they have been overtaken by Goldman Sachs guys. But Donald Trump did appoint the former Goldman bigwig, Gary Cohan, to be in charge of the plan for massive tax cuts in this country, which personally, I don't think will work out that well for the American worker whose wealth is being pocketed by the very same guys who are now going to be creating the tax cuts for this country. So Trump's administration has been filled with Goldman Sachs insiders and as this is happening we are seeing Rand Paul reintroduce his audit the Fed bill which would provide oversight, insight and transparency to the US Federal Reserve Ponzi scheme system so at least we could understand what's happening economically in this country. Now of course many people in the alternative media are very excited about this because Donald Trump did verbally voice his support for this, but it's also important to understand that in 2014, this same bill just failed by a mere seven votes. And we had Bernie Sanders water down the bill, and Ted Cruz abstained from the vote, which he, of course, was publicly criticized for, rightfully so, especially with him being married to another Goldman Sachs insider. And effectively, this important bill was taken down from the inside, from the very people who said that they would support it. But now we have to ask ourselves, will Donald Trump actually go with his verbal agreement and support this audit the Fed bill when he has put in other Goldman Sachs insiders like Michinin in order to run the Secretary of Treasury, who is now, of course, publicly against this audit the Fed bill and will try to undermine it and push Donald Trump away from this important issue in order to actually concentrate on the 100 day action plan that they have, which of course makes sense since Goldman Sachs and the Federal Reserve 
deserves their two peas in a pot, work together, collaborate together, and also benefit themselves, obviously. I mean, we need some transparency and we need some warning signs. We need to understand what's happening here economically in this country. I myself tried to get these answers from Ben Bernanke when he was chairman of the Federal Reserve. I pol politely asked him about the secret bailouts and the trillions of dollars that the U.S. government was giving out to foreign banks. And look how this monster responded. The monster grabbed my microphone and I was carried out of there for asking a simple question. And to be honest, I do not see Donald Trump supporting the audit, the Fed bill. If I am wrong, convince me in the comment section below. But he has capitulated on very important issues. He has actually went as far as to condemn Russia. The CIA under his administration has just given an award for anti-terror efforts to Saudi Arabia of all freaking countries in the world. We have seen Donald Trump back away from his criticism of Saudi Arabia, not put him on the travel ban list when they are the chief exporter of radical Islamic terrorism and Wahhabism. So with all of this happening, personally, I believe Goldman Sachs will actually win this face off with Donald Trump. Debate me in the comment section if I am wrong and don't forget this independent media operation. This video is provided for you because it's financed by you on wearechange.org forward slash donate and that's where we're not beholden to any political leading, to any corporation, to any government. We are here only solely because of you. Subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more on this issue when it breaks here on youtube.com forward slash wearechange.